Morning everyone. I've been quite busy recently posting uh, city walk videos. I thought it might be a good time to get back um, and make a nature video. So I'm here today in a favourite woodland of mine with some reflections on the upcoming season of autumn. I find there's a stillness in the air at this time of year, a softness as if the land is inhaling deeply, preparing for the change to come. There are dates of course for the new season. The 1st of September, I think, is the meteorological start of autumn. Around about the 21st is the autumnal equinox. That's the one I usually go by. I don't think it's as easy, though, as shouting out a date to herald the new season. It's a more subtle shift, one you feel before you see. We are on the cusp of autumn, a season that speaks in whispers. Here in an English wood, it's as if time slows to a different rhythm. Summer has almost gone. Long days, sun-drenched warmth. There are still glimmers on a warm afternoon, flowers in bloom, bees and butterflies. But you can feel it starting, the quiet descent into autumn. I notice the leaves first. This year more on the ground early with the high winds that we've been having. But now they are changing on the trees which will be the first to fall, which will be the last. It really is a season of contrasts from now in the middle of September, right up to the end of December. The greens give way to gold, ochres and russets. The trees changing into their autumn clothes, each leaf a herald of the months to come, an inescapable truth that by Christmas this wood will be bare, autumn gently leading us towards those dark, short winter days. Autumn is a season of letting go, just as the leaves shed their leaves. As if the season is inviting me to let go of things I don't need, bad habits, damaging thoughts. A time to prepare for the quiet reflections of winter. There is a beauty in this season beyond appearance, the knowledge that life is cyclical, 
that for every end there will always be a new beginning. It's a season of preparation, the animals busy gathering, storing food, farmers bringing in crops and preparing the land for next year. There is a quiet urgency that reminds me that even though the world seems to be slowing down, that work still needs to be done and life goes on despite the seasons. We're getting deeper into the wood now. Away from the road and the rail. And it's here that I really begin to unwind and appreciate the beauty of this place. Yet autumn is a time of reflection, a time to slow down, a time to walk a little more mindfully, to savour the sunlight as it filters through the thinning canopy. There's a cooler feel in the air, and on days a scent of the earth, of freshly ploughed fields and wood smoke. There's the rustling of the leaves, but not today. It is so still. It's beautiful. In moments like these it is easy to feel connected to something more ancient. In a wood where centuries of seasons have passed, you can almost feel those years drifting back. Trees, birds, animals, plants, people. Endless cycles of life and death, of growth and decay. Autumn is just one chapter in this story. A poignant, wonderful one. Let's embrace every moment of the coming season. I find it hard not to feel that way. This woodland's been here for at least a thousand years. It's even been clear felled in the past and allowed to regrow. And I feel that in the season. There's a kind of wisdom. Life is about change. Nothing is ever constant. Nature doesn't resist. In fact, it changes with grace every day. It embraces the coming of autumn, knowing that after the quiet of winter, we'll once again bring spring. And of course, new life will bloom. So as we walk these paths, let us take a moment to listen to the woodland. Autumn is speaking to us. If only we're quiet enough to hear it. In the end, it's not about the arrival of autumn that matters, but our journey through it. The way it teaches us to appreciate the fleeting, to find beauty in the quiet moments, 
and to trust in the cycles of nature. Thanks very much for watching everybody. This was something a little bit different that I tried today. Um, let me know what you think of it in the comments. But until the next time, um, I'll say cheerio. Bye.